is a place that's literally going to save lives. That grace overcrowded hospitals in Manhattan so desperately needed. Saludos, eh, le habla Henry Grujón, soy de Voices for Seniors y hoy en un evento en Downtown Manhattan, en City Hall, otra vez los Voices for Seniors estaba junto con el semblita Ron Kim, están peleando fuertemente contra el gobernador. Since we received her ashes, not just for my mother, but for the thousands of seniors that have died in our nursing homes. Today, victims' families and Democratic politicians held a rally demanding a full investigation and congressional hearings. Democratic Assemblyman Ron Kim is zeroing in on New York's immunity provisions that shield nursing home operators from lawsuits and liability over COVID-19 deaths. Kim claims the provisions were co-drafted by Cuomo and industry lobbyist Greater New York Hospital Association, one of Cuomo's political donors. Nursing home workers told the governor that they that if they send COVID patients back to nursing homes, they will die. What was Cuomo's answer to them? He gave them a license to kill. New York City Public Advocate Jumani Williams. Um, thank you, Ron, everybody who's here. Uh, I'm appalled. I just heard from a family member that the governor is now blaming the family member. That is disgusting. Yes. Like, I, uh, I came up here, I'm trying to remember what I was trying to say because that threw me off. Like, I've heard the worst of the worst. But this governor, after he actually said that, I hope none of y'all in the media let him off the phone. For blaming these folks who are in pain for his mistakes. With more than 110,000 COVID-19 cases by April 14th in New York City alone, emergency field hospitals have gone up across the city, and two more are underway. hicieron un inicio para hacer esto. No la vimos a mi abuela desde, desde el año pasado en agosto y esto sigue. Ellos le mandan textos que cada 14 días que sale una persona positivo eh, no puede moverlo. Es lo mismo. Ahora lo empujaron para el día 6 de marzo que salió otra persona positivo. So no, no estamos contentos porque esto es lo mismo. Mi abuela Hay personas está... ancianas que están falleciendo durante esta pandemia hasta ahora. Sabemos eso. So. Come on, we can't. She can't. She can't. She can't, right? Not now. Next week, baby. <laughs> this thing is terrible. No, these guidelines are fucking terrible. Hmm? These guidelines are. But who cares? 33, 28, died in a hospital, died in a nursing home. They died. But who cares? Nos preocupa la eficiencia de las autoridades. Estamos agradecidos, pero a la misma vez estamos preocupados. ¿Qué va a pasar para el desarrollo de este plan? Antes de ayer fui, la vi por la ventana. Ella está muy, muy triste, flaquita, pero se ve que está triste, que necesita. Será un 20% del número de residentes. Y con eso en mente, Ana Grullón confía regresar a su rutina de hace un año, visitar a su madre todos los días. Ricardo Villarín, Noticiero 47, Telemundo. Milagroso, abres camino, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Aquí estás, sanando 
mi corazón. 